of David Hayward, the notorious former cardiac surgeon. Police aren't yet speculating on the cause of death, but witnesses have confirmed that Hayward appeared bruised and battered when he collapsed in the middle of a crowded party. We're still waiting for statements from Chief Jesse Hubbard and the county's new district attorney, Liza Colby. David Hayward had a long history of making trouble in Pine Valley. Where'd they get that picture? David would hate that picture of himself. Liza, as the new DA, is this good news or bad? A couple months ago, I would have said it's good news, but now, obviously, Liza's been in David's corner, keeping evidence, keeping a secret, so we definitely can't count on Liza, especially since I broke into her house. Stop it. What's wrong? You're acting like you're already a suspect. Who says Liza even has to go there? Greenlee. If I was fighting in David's room, somebody probably heard me or saw me or I left evidence there. We can pretty much count on that evidence coming out, which... Which is why you guys, you gotta get out of here. Okay, you gotta go. What, and leave you to fend for yourself? The police will probably be here any minute, and if they see us together, they're gonna think that we were all up to something together. Right, okay, so right. please go. He's right. But what about you? We can't leave you here alone. I mean, for all we know, you have a concussion. You know what? Let's call Jake. I, I'm no, Jake. I'm not calling Jake. I'm not bringing anybody else into this. This is... I'll, I'll get my neurologist to come and check me out, okay? And, and tell him what? I will figure something out. Just please, guys, you gotta go, okay? Please. And please, promise me. Promise me that you'll take care of her. If you need anything, okay? Okay, I will. I'm scared I'm gonna walk out the store and never see you. I'm gonna see you real soon. I promise. Okay? Hopefully, once we dust for prints, we'll know more. Dad. Sorry, baby. What'd you say? How's Angie? No change with her eyesight? No. It's the longest one she's had so far. So, is this it? We don't know. <clears throat> so, is there anything to report? I just got the phone with Mayor Blanco, and she wants to know if, uh... There's any news? I'll bet she does. You know what else I'll bet? She's missing David Haywood's huge contribution checks already. As you can see, a struggle took place between David Hayward and someone. Who that someone is, we are working on it. Well, knowing David, he probably gave as much as he got. So did you check the hospital? You telling me how to run my investigation now, Liza? Chief, it's a suggestion. This is a suggestion, okay? You've been doing this, what? Two minutes as DA? I've been... You know what? You shouldn't even be here! What are you gonna do? You're gonna have me forcibly removed? Don't push it. You wanna push it? Thanks for the escort. Yeah, well, don't throw me out just yet. I'm not going anywhere. I have memorized every inch of this place. Trust me, I'll be fine. Yeah, well, I won't be. When my, your big bad husband finds out that I left you here alone. That big bad husband happens to be your best friend. So there's more reason for me to stick around. Angela. Uh, you know Jesse didn't mean I know. Right? I know. I mean, if, if Liza hadn't been up in his grill like that, nothing ever would have happened. Ted, you know what? It might be just as well. I mean, the doctor said if an episode lasts more than 24 hours. Hey, come on. Not 24 hours yet.
Kendall? Daddy! Hey! Ems, how's, how's the honeymoon? I saw sirens on the news. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. And, and actually, hearing your voice, I, uh, I couldn't be any better. I don't want to be here. I wish I was staying someplace else. But you can't be alone tonight. I'm so sorry. Thanks. Are you okay? Do they know what happened? Um, not that we know of. Well, I know it's hard, but uh, why don't you try to relax? I'll make us some tea. Mind if I say goodnight to the boys? Go ahead. Greenlee, everything's going to be okay. I promise. Happy Valentine's Day. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. If you give yourself to me, I want all of you. Your heart, your soul, your mind, your body. And I will give you all of myself in return. I didn't want this to be about threats. I'm in love with you. Till the day I die. Dumb idea. I, I should have known better. I'm sorry. I know you were trying to help. Well, let me let me pack a bag. I'll go with you. No, you two need to stay with the boys, please. It's okay. I'll be fine. Where, where are you gonna go? Anywhere. As long as I'm not here. You feel sorry for him. Oh, don't you? I don't. I don't. Maybe deep inside or something, I don't really know. Jake, he's dead. He is gone forever. I mean, that has to affect you on some level. It affects me. It, it worries me. And I'm not worried about the guy that's in there on the slab. I'm, I'm worried about whoever did this to the guy who's on the slab. Angela's at home stressing about whether or not she's going to be able to see our faces again, and I am stuck here investigating the murder of a, a man I didn't even like. I couldn't you, stand this man. What a waste of time. You're not stuck anywhere, Dad. Go. Be with Angie. I can't do that. I'm the chief of police, baby. Well, I'm detective. That's what we're here for, right? Come on, let me help you out. For tonight, just tonight, 
You've already done the bulk of the interviews. The crime scene's already blocked off. You know I can handle the on-site from here. Tomorrow morning, you're back ordering us all around and telling us what to do. All right. One night. Thanks, kid. Detective. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Get out of here. Oh, God. All right. All right. Uh, look, unless you want to know what kind of food we were serving, I'm not going to be much help. Whoa. Going somewhere? I'm trying to, yeah. I thought you and Colby still had to give your statements to the police. I actually already talked to a cop. You did? Yeah, over there. You got a problem with cops, Asher? Seems like you're trying to avoid them. When I was little, my dad died. Car wreck. Mm. Sorry to hear that. Police came to the house to break the news, but I was the only one home. Just me, babysitter, and a bunch of uniforms. Must have been pretty traumatic. I've, I've got nothing to say, you know? I just... I want to get the hell out of here. I never saw you. Don't worry, this will only take a second. All right, you're set? Yep. All right. Uh, were you here when David Hayward came in and collapsed? Yes. And prior to that, did you see anything unusual? Anything at all? No. Nothing. Ems, you have no idea how badly I'd love to see your little face right now. I miss you so much. Hey, but uh, you have a good time, okay? And, and get some sleep. Bye, Daddy. Let me talk to Daddy, okay? Okay. Okay. Ryan? Hey. Hey, um, sorry if we interrupted anything. Emma insisted on calling. She said she saw something on the news. Do, do you know what she's talking about? Nothing that you guys have to worry about. You just have a good time over there, okay? And... and if you decide to stay a little bit longer and, and, and keep Emma there a little bit longer, that's okay with me, all right? You got my, my okay. Oh, that's my other line. I gotta go. Okay, bye. <laughs>